Welcome to all of you. Hope you are doing very well. Today I am going to talk about 10 equations that change the world. Hopefully you will like the video. So let's start. The number one equation is Sir Isaac Newton's law of universal gravitation. It is it states that every particle attracts every other particle in the universe with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers this is a general physical law derived from empirical observations by what isaac newton called inductive reasoning it is a part of classical mechanics and was formulated in newton's work philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica in short the principia first published on July 5 1686 when Newton's book was presented in 1686 to the Royal Society Robert Hooke made a claim that Newton had obtained the inverse square law from him Newton's law is a remarkable piece of scientific history it explains almost perfectly why the planet moves in the way they do also remarkable is its universal nature this is not just how gravity works on earth or in our solar system but anywhere in the universe and the mathematical form looks like this f equals to g into m on m2 by r square where f is the force between two masses of masses m1 and m2 and r square is the square of the distance between the center of those two objects so this is the newton's law of gravity at number 2 it comes albert einstein's theory of relativity einstein's most famous undertaking is the generally accepted theory on the relationship between space and time first proposed in 1905 the theory of relativity has both radically altered the course of physics and deepened our knowledge of the universe's past present and future as you can see every observer is correct in thinking that they are standing still and the rest of the universe is moving around them and uh, finally in this case we can see, you can see the quoting of albert einstein i don't know whether it's genuine or not but it's interesting the third equation comes under this is the pythagorean theorem in mathematics the pythagorean theorem also known as pythagoras's theorem is a fundamental relation in euclidean geometry and on the three sides of a right angle it is states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides as you can see h square equals to a square plus b square this is pythagoras the fourth equation comes under this is maxwell's equation james clark maxwell's set of equations describe how electric and magnetic fields are generated and altered both by each other and by charges and currents an important consequence of the equation is that they demonstrate how fluctuating electric and magnetic fields propagate at the speed of light known as electromagnetic radiation maxwell first used the equations to propose propose that light is an electromagnetic phenomenon the fifth equation is the second law of thermodynamics the second law of thermodynamics states that the total energy of an isolated system can never decrease over time mathematically you can say delta s is greater than equals to 0 where delta s is the change in entropy for reversible process equal sign holds and for irreversible process greater than sign holds now equation number 6 is the logarithms the invention of logarithms 
Logarithm were introduced by John Napier in the early 17th century as a way to simplify calculations. The logarithm is the inverse function to exponentiation. That means the logarithm of a given number x is the exponent to which another fixed number, the base b, must be reached to produce that number x. Okay, you may be confused by this definition. Let me give you some example. So suppose 1000 can be written as 10 into 10 into 10 means 10 to the power 3. Sorry, it has been written 1 0 3, but it should be 10 to the power 10 raised to the power 3. The logarithm to base of 1000 is then 3. The seventh one is the discovery of calculus. Calculus is the mathematical study of continuous change in the same way that geometry is the study of shape and algebra is the study of generalization of arithmetic operations. It has two major branches. First one is differential calculus. So as you can see the mathematical form d of dt equals to limit h tends to 0 f of t plus h minus f of t by h. It is concerning instantaneous rates of change and slopes of curves. The another major branch is integral calculus concerning accumulation of quantities and the area under and between curves. The eighth equation is the Schrodinger equations. This equation describes how the quantum states of a quantum system changes with time. Developed by Austrian physicist Erwin Schrodinger in 1926, it governs the behavior of atoms and subatomic particles in quantum mechanics. Schrodinger equations paved the way for nuclear power, micros microchips, electron microscopes, and quantum computing. Number nine, information theory. Information theory studies the quantification, storage, and communication of information. It was originally proposed by Claude E. Shannon in 1948 to find fundamental limits on signal processing and communication operations such as data completion in a landmark paper entitled A Mathematical Theory of Communication. A key measure in information theory is entropy. Entropy quantifies the amount of uncertainty involved in the value of a random variable or the outcome of a random process. For example, identifying the outcome of a fair coin flip with two equally likely outcomes provides less information or lower entropy than specifying the outcome of a roll of a die with six equally likely outcomes. Some other important measures information theory are mutual information, channel capacity, error components, and relative entropy. The last equation or discovery comes under this class is the chaos theory. Chaos theory is a branch of mathematics that studies complex system whose behavior is extremely sensitive to slight changes in conditions. In essence, it shows how small alteration can lead to consequences of much greater scale. Chaos theory has application just about anywhere metrology sociology computer science physics engineering economics biology and philosophy so this is all for today guys if you find the video interesting please give it a thumbs up and if you are a new visitor of this channel subscribe the channel and press the bell icon keep sharing and keep loving in this way and finally thanks for